Hi everyone, I'm Will with this week's Animal News. First up is our Human Heroes of the Week, the National Institutes of Health. In November, the National Institutes of Health, NIH, announced that the agency is forever ending invasive research on chimpanzees and will no longer keep chimps in labs. At last, in the not too distant future, Rosie, a New Mexico chimpanzee currently held at the Texas Biomedical Research Institute, will experience the peace and dignity of sanctuary. After many long, hard years, Rosie's future is now looking brighter. Rosie and the other 20 New Mexico chimps held in Texas will be the first of about 700 chimpanzees from labs to be moved to a sanctuary. In 2013, NIH Director Francis Collins stated, the vast majority of government-owned chimps in labs would be retired to sanctuary, and the agency implemented strict new criteria for anyone wishing to use government dollars to research with chimps. Soon, Rosie and her chimp colleagues will also be celebrating. In sanctuary, they will get to experience what it means to live instead of just survive. Even though she couldn't grow up with a chimp family, Rosie can now grow old with one. And now, for our bizarre animal of the week, the remarkable giraffe weevil of Madagascar. Unsurprisingly, this extraordinary looking Madagascan creature gets the name from its stupendously long neck. It is three times longer in the male than the female. The giraffe weevil comes from Madagascar, which is a large island off the east coast of Africa. Its isolation from the continent meant that many strange creatures evolved there, which are found nowhere else in the world. They will usually only get to around an inch in length. The adults feed on a tree known as the giraffe beetle tree. The female lays a single egg on a leaf and then rolls it up, giving its unborn baby both protection and a food source for when it hatches. Oh yes, it flies too. And this is the reason for his extra long neck. He uses it for fighting. <laughs>